guys today I'm back again as chef Ricardo say I'm gonna show you how you can make some lovely Caribbean curry chicken well I do the volume one but I'm gonna do one more time again guys just to show you I'm gonna put my camera right inside of the pot that you can see everything what is taking place today with chef Ricardo Caribbean curry chicken first of all I'm gonna preheat my pot for about three seconds I'm gonna turn on my stove all right, here it is. And my stove is on, my pot is on the fire. Guys, I'm already season my Caribbean curry chicken already. I wanna tell you some secret what I use on my Caribbean curry chicken. I season my Caribbean chicken from yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. I'm soaking it for 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna show you some idea what I use on my Caribbean curry chicken. Well, I use some chicken season, some all-purpose, some everyday season because, and guys, you don't need to use no salt on your curry chicken when you season it. All of those seasons already have some salt in it. I have some olive oil, I have some garlic, I got some, some thyme, some white onion, and some spring onion. Today, what gonna, right now my pot is pre-eat, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to tip some olive, some vegetable oil inside the pot. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put a teaspoon of olive oil, oil inside it vegetable oil inside the pot now at the moment so as you can see right here the pot is on the fire the stove is on and what I'm gonna do now I got some spring onion and some thyme a little white onion just cut up and I'm gonna put it right inside of the pot just to show you what I'm talking about from Chef Ricardo recipe today with the Caribbean curry chicken this one is a special one for you today, guys. First of all, I'm going to put the thyme inside of it. Listen to this fry now. Lovely one. And then I'm going to put some... This is so beautiful and nice today from Chef Ricardo cooking. Really nice one. Guys, you can hear that, that fry up a while ago. I'm telling you, the camera is in the pot today. I'm not going to move my camera. You're going to stay right in that pot today. And you're going to see everything I'm doing inside that pot from Chef Ricardo cooking. As I can, I'm going to just highlight, highlight the pot. Guys, don't, don't use a hand and hold it. Always use the gloves to hold your pot when you're doing this from Chef Ricardo cooking. And as I say, but everything inside of the pack, I got the spring onion at a time and some garlic. I use two cover garlic, one white onion and two spring onion and a piece of thyme inside the pack. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put in that beautiful Caribbean curry chicken. It's already seasoned up, as I said before, over 24 hours I seasoned this Caribbean chicken. Really smell beautiful and nice. Look at it before I put it inside the pack. Look at it very carefully. You can see the chicken season, I put a little pepper on it some rough grain, coarse grain pepper. You can see the hard purpose season. You can see all kind of season and this Caribbean curry chicken. Guys, you can put any kind of season you want on your curry chicken. Once this season and it's for chicken, you can use it on it and it will come out beautiful like Chef Ricardo one. Beautiful and nice. As I can see, I'm gonna put it right side inside the pot now. Can you hear that beautiful fry? Whoa, that lovely and nice. I'm just gonna just make it right here. I'm gonna keep stirring it up. Smell beautiful Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo today. Really nice and beautiful. Like I said, I'm not taking the camera out of this pot today because someone gonna learn how to cook this beautiful Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo. Really nice and beautiful one. I'm gonna say it to you one more time. This curry chicken is seasoned from Tuesday. And I want to say I use all-purpose pepper, thyme, spring onion, some chicken seasoning. Guys, any kind of season. Once this is chicken season, you can use on it. Really nice. Wow. Oh, smell beautiful and nice. Beautiful cardboard curry chicken from Chef Ricardo today. I'm just using a whole spoon inside of it because it moves freely inside the pot. Really nice chicken from Chef Ricardo today. This recipe is really nice. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna just show you what inside of the all the chicken look inside of the pot. Really nice. Look at this one. Look at it. Beautiful Caribbean curry chicken. Someone gonna learn how to cook Caribbean chicken. I'm, I know. My mind tell me, you know, I just know what's going on. Someone gonna learn. It's gonna be up on YouTube shortly. 
Remember Chef Ricardo website, chefricardo.co.uk. Guys, this is beautiful. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. You can like, you can like me on Facebook, guys. Really nice. Someone gonna learn how to cook the Caribbean curry chicken, and it is getting there. The full Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo today. Whoa! Really nice and beautiful. I'm gonna show you the pot one more time. Look at it. Really nice. It's getting there. What I'm gonna do now, guys? I'm just gonna cover it for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and then make it free. Bring it water itself. And then I'm gonna store it. Guys, I'm not taking camera out of this pack. You're gonna see it right in this, right here, right now, from Chef Ricardo Caribbean cooking curry chicken. Guys, I'm not taking the camera out of the pack. The pot with the chicken is still here, and I'm still working on the chicken same way. So what I'm gonna do now, don't have your stove too high. Turn on your stove a little bit, which I'm gonna do now at the moment. I'm gonna turn on my stove a little bit, so you can hear it stop to fry it. So long. All right. What I'm gonna do now, guys? I got some carrot, and some spring onion, garlic, and white onion, and some lovely Irish potato which I just cut up and peel. Remember, remove your skin from your carrot, remove your skin from your potato, and always wash your stuff them before you use them. Remember, always wash your stuff before you use them. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna put them right in the pot. So everything in the pot. Carrot, spring onion, and some garlic. I'm gonna put them in the pot right now. Then what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put one more binge of thyme inside of it. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna stir it up just like this. Guys, I'm not taking away the camera from the pot. Someone gonna learn how to cook Caribbean curry chicken because not everyone can cook Caribbean curry chicken. Guys, when, car when you season your Caribbean curry chicken, remember, use three teaspoons of, of curry on this Caribbean curry chicken. And remember, three teaspoons of cur curry, one teaspoon of chicken seasoning, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, and a pinch of black pepper, garlic, spring onion, carrot, Irish potato. It's gone. It's sell off. I'm not moving away the camera from the pot. Someone's going to learn how to cook. So what I do earlier, I boil some water in my kettle and I'm going to use three cups of water inside of my Caribbean curry chicken today, guys. Look what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to pour in the water inside of the Caribbean curry chicken. So I'm going to turn up my stove a little bit. Yeah, you can hear the flames start to flow in a little bit more harder. And I'm going to keep stirring up just like this for about three more minutes. Guys, what I want to say to you, if you want your curry to be bright, you can add more curry, more curry inside of it. If you want to be done just as it, you can leave it just as it. Just cook it the way you like it, or cook it the way I'm cooking it. Really nice. I'm not gonna taste it because you see, all of these seasons I already have salt, and remember, I don't like to cook with a lot of salt. Really nice and beautiful carbon curry chicken. Guys, look inside of the pot. Really nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cover my pot for two more minutes and I'm going to show you how you're going to look like. Hey guys, as you can see, my water started to boil up very quickly because I used some hot water inside of my pot. Well, I'm going to just show you what's going on. I'm stirring up the chicken because it is boiling up. The reason why I add some water in it inside of it because I want the carrot to be cooked and the Irish potato to cook and I want the chicken to be cooked some little, little bit more. That's when it bites the moisture, everything come out in your mouth, even the very bone. So I had three cups of water and my chicken. Guys, this chicken is two kilo chicken, and I'm telling you, I cut it up very small, as you can see, very, very small, not too big, not too small, it's just a reasonable size. You can get it at any local meat shop to cut up your meat in curry style. Just tell them you want it in curry style. This is a beautiful Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo cooking. This is gonna be on YouTube shortly, Facebook, the whole channel. Really nice and beautiful. I'm not taking away the camera from this curry chicken because someone gonna learn how to cook Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo cooking today, guys. Lovely, as, as I said, the pot is still cooking. Same way, 
No, it's 25 minutes past 8 o'clock. And this, I'm telling you, I said to and it's gonna finish by 8.30. So I'm using five more minutes to be simmering down, as you can see. And remember guys, turning your stuff. Don't keep it too high, keep it medium when you're cooking your curry chicken because I don't want it to get burned up. My curry chicken didn't get burned, so do not burn your curry chicken when you're learning from Chef Ricardo. Cooking, remember, carrot, Irish potato, spring onion, thyme. Guys, sell off. Lovely Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo. As you can see, the sauce is running a little bit thick. You can see it looking really nice. And remember, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You see the, the, the meat start to remove from the bowl. Really nice and beautiful. Looking really good. Guys, I'm telling you, this is really what a chef record a nice recipe. And as you can see, it's gonna be on YouTube shortly. And you're gonna learn how to cook Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo recipe today. Really nice one. Remember, this you can have it with cornmeal dumpling. You can have it with rice and peas. You can have it with plain rice. You can have it with so many various things. I'm gonna show you how to make some Jamaican plain flour dumpling. I'm not gonna put a cornmeal in this. This is volume one of the corn of the dumpling, which I'm gonna show you how to make. Really nice one from Chef Ricardo today. Beautiful, you can see, look at the gravy. Beautiful and nice today from Chef Ricardo. You're gonna learn how to cook Jamaican beautiful, beautiful curry chicken from Chef Ricardo. Guys, look inside the pot. Beautiful, look at it. Really nice and beautiful from Chef Ricardo today. Really nice one. You cannot go wrong if you watch my recipe. I wanna learn how to cook. Chef Ricardo curry chicken. Really nice. As you can see, the carrot, the Irish potato, everything inside of the pot. Beautiful one. Remember Chef Ricardo website.co.uk. Facebook, I'm there for you guys to help you out to cook. Beautiful Caribbean curry chicken. And remember, I got my next video which is gonna come very soon. How to cook Caribbean brown stew chicken from Chef Ricardo volume one. Love you guys, look after yourself. I'm gonna show you how you share this after. Now it's 27 minutes past eight. It's getting there. Lovely one. It's got two minutes to finish. Then I'm gonna turn off the stove. I'm even gonna taste it. I tell you, I'm not moving the camera from my curry chicken today. I'm not moving the camera from my Caribbean curry chicken. Someone need I'm gonna learn how, how I'm going to learn how to cook Caribbean curry chicken from Chef Ricardo today. I'm not moving away the camera from the Caribbean curry chicken today. Remember guys, do not turn up the stove too high. Remember, 29 minutes past 8 is getting there. One minute to go. It's gonna get right there. 29 minutes, hey turtle, it's finished. Curry chicken. Okay guys, this is how it look like. Lovely and nice and beautiful dumpling with the curry chicken from Chef Ricardo today. Really nice one from Chef Ricardo. Remember chefricardo website.co.uk.